What's going on everybody? It's Manny Ortiz and in this video I'm going to talk about why I absolutely love, 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 love the Sony a7R 3 This is a powerful, powerful tool. It's an absolute beast when it comes to using it for photography. Let me show you why. We're in the Valley of Fire, taking some portraits with my boy. What up? Around Q. And, um, Diana's irrelevant. And, uh, the Diana right behind me. Let's see what we can create out here. All right, so I just spotted a shot. I'm gonna, Q had her hanging from, yeah, it's gonna be hanging off <laughs> the edge and I think that's, that's kind of cool. So let's see what it looks like. Hey bro, hey, can you hold this? I might bust out my 85 for this one. Yeah, you should. Let me see. As you've seen in the video, I did touch on some of the points as to why I think this camera is an absolute beast, why I love using this camera on the field. I want to go into it a little bit deeper. So when it comes to shadow recovery, that's one thing that this camera absolutely flourishes in. It has great dynamic range. So in this photo here, notice that I expose for the background. This is what you normally do when you're using flash. You expose for the background, then you light your subject with flash. I had no flash. I had no reflector. I had nothing, but I was still able to expose for the background and recover my wife from those deep, dark shadows and have a usable image. Not every camera can do this, guys. It's different from recovering shadows on a landscape than it is on a portrait because skin will easily degrade when you're lifting shadows. Another reason why I absolutely love using the a7R 3 it's for its resolution. That's 42 megapixels. I don't think people realize how much detail there actually is in these files, but let me kind of put it into context for you. This photo I took with a 35 millimeter lens. This one I took with an 85 millimeter lens. I am able to crop into the 35 millimeter photo to match the same frame of the 85 millimeter. And I still have plenty of resolution left. Isn't it crazy that you can take a picture and then you can create many different compositions within that picture. You can turn a landscape landscape into a portrait or a portrait into a landscape. Guys, I'm telling you, I love the resolution of this camera. Did you see when I was shooting my wife when she was uh, hanging outside of the passenger side window and I was in the backseat shooting her from there, um, I was shooting through the viewfinder at that point. I stuck my head out shooting through the viewfinder. I realized I didn't like that angle. It's not a dramatic enough Good. angle. Me? So what I was able to do with this camera that I wouldn't be able to do with most cameras, since I can map one of these buttons here as an eye autofocus button. So when I press this button here, what it's gonna do, it's gonna just put a box over her eye and I can just take multiple photos not worrying about it focusing on the rock behind her or the road or anything like that because I was shooting with a 16 to 35 lens. I'm able to press this button here, stick my hands, stick my hand outside the window like this, and I was just taking shots like this, you know, taking multiple shots with my hand all the way out, and I know that I'm gonna get her in focus, her eye in focus. You know, uh, you have to you have to try it to really understand the benefits of this technology it's like that picture i wouldn't be able to get every single shot in focus if it wasn't for idle focus for that specific shot and i absolutely love how it came out all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see some content on the new sony a7 III, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on any of those videos hopefully you guys have a good one uh see you next week peace